फ्रेंड्स म्यूनिसपल सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट आई मीन द साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ म्यूनिसपल सॉलिड वेस्ट इन इंडिया इज अ बिग चैलेंज टुडे गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैव ऑलरेडी पब्लिश रूल्स इन द ईयर 2000 डिस्पाइट वॉट एवर एफर्ट्स टुडे ओनली नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द इंडियाज म्यूनिसपल सॉलिड वेस्ट इज मैनेज इन अ साइंटिफिक मैनर we all know that our country produces 1.4 lakh tons of municipal solid waste every single day therefore it is very urgently required that all the stakeholders take an urgent step to address this very simple issue which does not need rocket science it only needs strong political will and administrative action my experience says that our perhaps political will to manage waste or anything to do waste management is lacking and it is our duty to motivate the political leadership so that the waste management in our country gets adequate priority sir in this context uh, taking a little further thank you for that uh, very a very specific and focused uh, uh, challenge that is in front of us today so do you find that there is enormous adequacy to handle the situation it's a very good question you all know that uh, the municipal solid waste management is in the hands of the urban local bodies these bodies are guided and governed by the department of municipal affairs and directorate of municipal administrations in the country uh, the greatest challenge is the capacity building in the stakeholders who manage our urban local bodies i am talking of mayor i am talking of the honorable corporators in a urban local body i am also talking of the commissioner deputy commissioner i am talking of the engineers i am talking of the sanitary inspectors and other staff who have direct role in ensuring scientific management of municipal waste but uh, most of the times i have seen that they are not properly motivated or and of educated how it is done in a scientific manner though the rules have been published but till today there is a lot of gap between what the rules desire and what is awareness in the field therefore i appreciate that many institution in this in country like ati mysore like administrative staff college of india hyderabad they are all taking courses and training the municipal officers commissioners corporators mayors everybody in a systematic courses so that the awareness is built up also municipal solid waste cannot be only managed by administrative and political action most important need of the hour is to involve the community if the community does not appreciate the tenets of the municipal waste management then all that exercise will not be a real success so in my opinion involving the ngos the right pickers and the people who ultimately do the municipal management and also the various communities where it is done is also very critical so thank you for that uh, vision uh, once we have a vision we need to have an action plan an agenda should be in position having a legacy of public private partnership in india especially in the urban governance and you very clearly mentioned about the training component sir could you kindly throw some light on the ppp as an economical instrument the big difference it is making in india uh let me first tell you all over the world today waste management is being done in public private partnership mode because waste management is a very difficult service which perhaps government are not meant to provide today all the service providers now are in the private sector mode similarly the waste management is best provided by the private sector in public private partnership so you must be having a good uh, number of ppp models in vogue and uh, have, having very good uh, uh, insight about this uh, the dynamics of this ppp models sir what is that one thing you would like to uh, share with the uh, the various stakeholders in urban uh, governance where exactly we are going what are all the real bottlenecks the public private partnership will only succeed when it is a true partnership let us not forget that a public private 
partnership when the private partner comes to do the job he is not a contractor he is your partner for the entire duration of the concession period during which you engage him this concession period could range from 5 years to 25 years and the only thing which binds the public and the private partner is the concession agreement so the first thing to tackle is to have a very good workable practical simple concession agreement because that is the thread between our partnership for the next 25 years if the concession period was so designed and then we must respect the concession agreement and due in the concession agreement both the rights and the obligations of the urban local body and the rights and obligations of the private partner must be respected the timely fees should be paid to the private partner and should the private partner deviate from the norms and standards of the service to be provided in that case there is of course a provision for penalties and uh, other uh, penal measures any concession agreement should also have a very simple dispute uh, resolution mechanism because many a time we find that should there be a problem between the public and the private partner the problem does not get sorted out soon and ultimately it leads to the suffrage of the work sir one more issue comes here like we have different tiers of urban local bodies we have a different population structure we have the uh, corporations we have the tmc cmcs and patna panchayati having these different populations as we all know the capacity and the training has started sir which of the areas you can think of picking up some best practices so that uh, you can take it a long way to the training uh, intervention i am very happy that this point has come up in our discussion seeing is believing and friends let me tell you in my country we have many examples where you have very good models of municipal solid waste scientific management be it composting be it rdf what i mean is refuse derived fuel be it with landfill construction and operation or be it remediation so once you have the theoretical inputs through lectures or training i would strongly urge upon the participants to visit such success stories in india very good work has been done in gujarat in maharashtra in karnataka in tamil nadu in parts of uh, rajasthan so idea is that once you see good work being done in our country you will get motivated to replicate the same and also you will not waste your time reinventing the wheel what india needs today is nothing nothing very sophisticated they need something which is appropriate for example if we have to treat the or uh, we have to do the processing of the municipal solid waste in my opinion the best way is composting because we are an agricultural country and it is our duty to enrich the soil and regarding composting even ministry of uh, fertilizers they are motivating people to convert into compost which is being sold as a part of the fertilizer package to the farmers to stabilize the soil so whatever we do we should keep into care that the solution has to be cost effective number 1 the by products should be uh, ut- uh, should be utilized for the right purpose and also the tipping fees should be which municipalities can afford over a long period of time and finally as i told you the private partner should be considered as your partner so that this partnership or this marriage sustains for the lifetime sir uh, while well, thanking you for that especially in the beginning of your lecture you mentioned about the political will and the administrative action Uh, there is a very unique uh, situation in karnataka we have about 100 and uh, uh, plus environmental engineers recruited in the year 2006 and again another 40 or so inducted recently so being an engineer and also an economics uh, postgraduate from uh, uk i would like to take a from you i would request you rather uh, to give a message to these new young chaps who are environmental engineers uh, uh, by profession what is that they should keep in mind to make the system work a little better uh friends environment means air water and soil anything we do any waste management we do it is our duty to protect these three important elements of environment 
and I am sure my friends from environmental field are aware about it. There are two aspects. One is theoretical, other is practical. Today, if you ask me in the ladder of municipal solid waste management, we are somewhere getting only two and a half out of ten marks. So my message is don't think of costly solutions. Do not try to import the west in the east. You first go to the site, see what can be done in our country in an economical manner, which is people friendly, involves low cost technology, and ultimately is a win win situation for everybody. Then, once you learn the good practices from the field, try to replicate it in your area in a small manner. And once you get success, you can scale it to any dimension. So what I would say in one phrase to sum up is think big, start small, scale fast. Thank you.